and today we're going to show you the best free things to do in Branson. Let's be real. Everything seems expensive these days. Planning your trips into Branson can sometimes leave you with a gap of time to fill and you don't want to go over your budget. So let's talk about some things that you can do as a family in Branson that won't break the bank. We ranked these in a top 10 format, but remember, these are just our opinions. Please let us know what we've left off in the comments below. Kicking off our list at number 10, we have the horse walk at the Dolly Parton Stampede. If you are looking to fill some time between activities in Branson, you can meet the four-legged stars of the famous show. Our kids love getting a closer look at the beautiful animals. They want to know their names and what part of the show they specialize in. It's a nice activity for the whole family to experience. Our four-legged friends are obviously busy during showtime, so try to plan your walk an hour or two before the first showtime of the day. At number nine, we have the beautiful parks of Branson. Branson has 16 parks for both locals and visitors to enjoy. These parks offer a wide variety of amenities and range from small neighborhood parks to large wilderness areas. A complete list of the parks and their features can be found at BransonParksAndRecreation.com. There are two parks that our family spends the most time at. The first one of those is the Branson Recplex Park. This park includes two different full playground areas with covered pavilions. Restrooms are available here as well as an extensive trail for walking and running. Our other favorite park is Stockstill Park. This park is one of our favorites because of all that it offers. Our family enjoys playing tennis together and Stockstill offers six beautiful courts. Of course, our girls enjoy the playground equipment near the main restrooms and pavilion. A skate park is also available for those who want to brave the ramps. There's a dog park as well, but you must contact the Branson Recplex for entrance into the dog park before arriving. Number eight brings us to something more unique to our area. That is the Shepherd of the Hills Fish Hatchery. Located near the Table Rock Dam on the Taney Como side, the fish hatchery produces between 350,000 and 400,000 pounds of trout each year. Both rainbow and brown trout are raised at the hatchery with 80% of production going into Lake Taney Como. The remainder of the fish are stocked into other Missouri trout management areas. The hatchery includes a conservation center where the public can learn more about trout culture, aquatic life, fishing, and the Missouri Department of Conservation's role in aquatic resource management. At number seven, we have the convergence of exercise and nature. We're talking about local walking trails. The following list are some of our personal favorites. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for a future deep dive into the nature trails of our region. Lakeside Forest Wilderness Area is right off Fall Creek Road behind Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater with plenty of parking at the trailhead as well as restrooms. After hiking about a half mile along the top of the ridge, wooden steps and the entrance to the cliff walk stairway becomes visible. The stairway, the most strenuous portion of the hike, consists of 315 stone steps down the hillside. This part of the trail offers interesting views of caves and wet weather waterfalls. Table Rock State Park Shoreline Trail is a paved trail that you can begin at the Dewey Short Visitor Center and wind around the beautiful Table Rock Lake and all of its happenings. This trail is well loved by our family because you have gorgeous views of the lake and all of the lake life activities. It also winds past the Branson Bell Loading Dock where you can see gorgeous views of this giant floating Branson attraction. The Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area can be accessed from the scenic overlook up the hill from the Butterfly Palace in Branson. Choose from several hiking trails that range from 0.4 to 3.4 miles and vary in difficulty. This is a beautiful space to explore Ozark nature at its finest. In our number six slot, we have taken a stroll near the aquarium at the boardwalk. With an enormous reflective octopus sticking out of the aquarium, this location on 76th Strip is easy to spot. 
You can freely enjoy the outdoor area of the aquarium by walking the sidewalks and watching their choreographed fountain show. This is certainly one of our favorite locations for those cherished family pictures as well. Number five is only a small walk from the aquarium. Just off the strip, you will find the quaint space of the Grand Village Shops. Our family likes to wander through the village while popping in and out of the small storefronts. And while we understand purchasing items from the stores does in fact cost money, the Grand Village offers so many beautiful things to look at free of charge that we added it to this list. From boutiques to specialty goods to Christmas decor shopping, there's something for everyone who comes to visit a Grand Village. A cool stop for anyone interested in art is the Reflections Art Gallery, which has a Thomas Kincaid signature gallery. Though we are far from experts in art, we are amazed by the pieces from one of America's most collectible artists. Coming in at number four, we have the Dewey Short Visitor Center. Near the Table Rock Dam, the Visitor Center offers a free indoor experience for the entire family. Exhibits include a state-of-the-art interactive map of Table Rock Lake, beautiful artistic wall murals, and a replica of an Ozarks Bluff complete with local flora and fauna. Other fascinating features include a Native American artifact exhibit and dioramas of the Ozarks. An interactive water safety exhibit demonstrates the importance of wearing a life jacket and an expansive cutaway model reveals the inner workings of a hydroelectric dam. Our kids could play in the interactive sand pit all day long. The sand pit is a great way for kids to learn about how the water pools and what causes rivers and lakes to form. The history of the Corps of Engineers presented in detail rounds out this amazing experience. At number three, visiting historical downtown Branson is a great free way to spend some family time. Not only can you see a wide range of shops and eateries, but you can also visit the Centennial Museum to learn about Branson's history and culture. The museum houses many amazing pieces of Branson's past. It is certainly worth a visit by anyone that enjoys the Branson shows or anyone that's interested in seeing the evolution of Branson. Our four-year-old and two-year-old children even enjoyed it. Endearingly named Sparky, the Branson Trolley is a completely free amenity to see the downtown area. Ride to all 12 stops, including downtown Branson, the Branson Landing, and the Branson Convention Center. Thanks to Daniel Tiger, our two-year-old absolutely loves trolleys, and she was ecstatic to board the trolley that looks very similar to the one on her favorite show. You also need to visit Dick's Five and Dime. This is a place that you really just have to walk through to understand it. This store is full of a wide variety of knickknacks for anyone and everyone to browse. You would be truly amazed how famous this family owned business has become over the years. It has found its place as an iconic part of Branson. Our penultimate stop on our list is College of the Ozarks. Located right outside of Branson in Point Lookout, Missouri, C of O is an absolutely beautiful stop for anyone to witness. It is nicknamed Hard Work U as students work on campus to pay for their tuition. The campus is on a bluff that overlooks Lake Tanicomo, and C of O offers many stunning views of the lake and the Ozark Hills that surround it. Other sights to see while on campus include the Williams Memorial Chapel, the Lest We Forget 9-11 Memorial, Patriots Park, Edwards Mill, and many other beautiful locations. We will have a dedicated video of this beautiful campus in the upcoming weeks. Our number one way to spend our family time at no cost is to walk the Branson Landing. Though the landing is home to a wide range of shops and restaurants, we enjoy the time spent in each other's company more than the possessions that the stores can offer us. We love to meander down the center of the landing or walk down the Taney Como Lakeshore Trail that runs right along the water's edge. The trail is even home to Paul and Charlie's secret picnic location that no one else is allowed to know about. So please keep that part quiet. Bass Pro Shops in and of itself is worth the trip just to view the large fish tank and nature focused scenery displayed throughout the store. The $7.5 million fountain show housed along the water's edge at the landing is a gorgeous sight to see every hour on the hour. This show includes 120 foot high shooting water geysers, lights, and fire cannons, all choreographed to excellent music. You can choose to watch at a further distance or get a closer look if you feel like receiving a shower from the fountain. This fountain needs to be on your Branson bucket list and lucky for all of us, it has no cost to viewers whatsoever. Thanks for watching our video on the top 10 free things to do in Branson. 
If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our